Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here, and I'm going to be showing you what I've got running on my jailbroken iPhone 4S, and this is in preparation for stock iOS 6, so I don't have all of my jailbreak tweaks and applications that I have purchased from Cydia. This is just trying to prepare me for stock iOS in the future with iOS 6. So let's get to it. The first tweak that I'm going to be showing you is Activator. It allows me to use different gestures on the home screen to activate different actions. So I'll demonstrate that here. To set the gestures and actions up, you would just go into your settings and then select Activator and then go ahead and select Anywhere. From here you can select the gesture you would like to use. One of my favorites is the double tap of the status bar. Go ahead and select that. And once you select the gesture, now you can go ahead and select the action for that gesture. In this case I'm going to select Messages Plus, it is a quick uh, compose option for text messaging. I'll double tap and there you go. I can go ahead and send a text message to anybody, anywhere on my uh, iPhone. I'm going to go and swipe left on the status bar. will allow me to compose a tweet. Let's demonstrate that now. Slide left and there you go. I can compose a tweet anywhere if I'm in an application. The next must-have tweak that I've got running on my iPhone 4S is Call Bar. Call Bar is a must-have and it is a tweak that Apple really needs to implement in their operating system really soon. What Call Bar does is gives you a drop-down banner notification that you're getting a phone call and this does not uh, interrupt what you're doing. Say I'm browsing the internet right here and I get a phone call and you just get a banner from the top to where you can answer or decline the call and not be interrupted with a full screen phone call. So Apple really needs to implement some sort of call bar into their next operating system in my opinion. The next city application that I've got running on my iPhone is Display Recorder and this obviously allows me to record what I'm doing on my display. Now Display Recorder has a decent amount of settings so let's hop into the settings for display recorder right now. Now I'm not going to go through a whole lot of this this is I'm just going to show you pretty much what it all includes. Uh, you got different video formats, video quality, let's scroll down here and you can show different tap sizes and activation methods. So I'm going to demonstrate this here right now. My activator method is holding the top volume button and now I can record my display obviously. And what I'm doing right now is being recorded by Display Recorder. Let's hop into an application. Let's get out and to disable let's go ahead and hit the activator method again and it's been recorded. Now let's head into the display recorder application and there's my recording. Select that and you've got tons of options here. I'm going to go ahead and play the video to demonstrate how this works. And there you go. Just as described it re records the display. You got uh, other options. I'm going to add this to the camera roll. Go ahead and delete this since it's already saved to the camera roll. Head over to the photos application and there you go 15 seconds worth of display recording you can record as much as you like now from here this really allows me to if anybody in my family has any questions I can record my display on how to do what their question was and then send it to them as a text message or you can either send it to them as an email video as well so this really comes in handy the next tweak is fake location. I just downloaded this today actually. This is not one of my regulars and this allows me to fake a location for certain applications and I'll demonstrate this for you right now. My reasoning for downloading this application today is that I wanted to watch the Cardinal game on the MLB.com application but since I am in the St. Louis area the game was blacked out. In order to combat that I really needed to fake my location to where I was not in the St. Louis area. So I just 
picked uh, Cupertino, which is Apple's headquarters. And then I set the application or set the location for the designated app, which is MLB app right here. And you can designate as many applications as you like. But in this case, I just use it for this one application. So it worked just, just fine for me. So I just head into the MLB app and then find the game that I want to watch. But since the Cardinal game's already over, I can't demonstrate that for you right now. But it worked just right, and it uh, pinpointed me in Cupertino instead of St. Louis. And as you can see at the top, it showed that it was faking the location. So I will just be using this for a limited time, and this is not one of my you know staple tweaks. The next tweak is IntelliScreen X. This is... This really supercharges your notification center with Facebook, Twitter, RSS feed, and enhanced mail. In the settings for IntelliScreen X, you've got in your notification center, you can set up your Twitter, mail, RSS reader, and Facebook. Just hit edit, and you can move those around. I'm not going to go through all these settings really into detail, but uh, you've got a whole lot of you know settings here. Scroll down some more. Action menus, status bar icons, a whole lot of uh, customization you can do for your notification center. I'll slide down from the top. And from here, you can see I can toggle on and off my Wi Fi, Bluetooth, 3G. And I've got a little you know, ticker here that shows my Twitter feed. Slide over, and there's also my Twitter feed and slide over again there's my email so that all really depends on where you designate where you want your Facebook Twitter RSS feed or whatever and you can also direct message here with messages plus so I really included this even though it's not really preparing me for iOS 6 but I really really needed it the next city application is one of my all-time favorites is my y5 and also down below MyY 5.5 and MyY On Demand come with MyY 5. So this allows me to tether my 3G data to say my Wi-Fi iPad. So instead of paying 30 bucks a month through a carrier to tether your iPhone's data to say an iPad Wi-Fi only version or a laptop, here are the settings for MyY. You can automatically toggle on and off Wi-Fi tethering here and also with IntelliScreen X you can toggle it on through the notification center so I can turn my Wi-Fi hotspot on and it's only a, a $20 one-time fee for this application and you've got tethering anywhere that you've got service obviously and you've got uh, USB tethering as well as Bluetooth tethering this application is really robust and if you want you can purchase my why on demand and you can read more into that if you're interested so that is one of my all-time favorite uh, applications in Cydia is my why I really recommend getting it if you plan on tethering a lot my next week is password pilot pro this is a more robust version of password pilot this allows me to insert my Apple ID password uh, instead of having to type it in every single time I download an application or even update an application. Now here are the settings for Password Pilot Pro. You can toggle on the App Store and also the Find My Friends application as well as uh, add as many accounts as you'd like. And also you can turn on in-app purchases and you can also set up a master password. So let's uh, demonstrate this right now. I'm going to head into the App Store and download an application. Let's uh, go to the top 25, the free ones. And uh, let's go ahead and pimp my hair. Let's select that one. And now when I select install the application, there is my password automatically included so I don't have to type it in every single time. All I have to do is just select OK, and we're pimping each other's hair. 
uh, all my applications will download automatically without having to type in the password. And my final application from Cydia is 3G Unrestrictor 5 and this allows me to make FaceTime calls over 3G, uh, save an iCloud backup over 3G, and have my photos taken uh, saved automatically to my photo stream over 3G as well. To set up 3G Unrestrictor, all you have to do is just head into the application here. Let's head in here. Now here's a list of the applications that I've got unrestricted. You can add as many applications as you'd like. Let's head down to YouTube and I can hit the blue arrow. And I can always view high quality content instead of having very pixelated YouTube videos over 3G. To add applications, you hit edit in the upper left and then the plus in the upper right. And you can go through your entire list of applications, the ones you think you would really need to be unrestricted by 3G and add them to your list. Now, FaceTime over 3G is really nice. This is the main reason why I downloaded 3G Unrestrictor. And I've experienced the FaceTime over 3G and I've liked it so far. Also, I like the ability to back up my iPhone to iCloud anytime I want even though I'm not on Wi-Fi. So those are the Cydia tweaks and applications that I've got running on my iPhone 4S so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'll have those links in the description below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button above so that you will be able to see other videos like this when they come available in your subscription box. And best of all, it's free, so subscribe now. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.